Welcome, I'm Tabitha from the George Memorial Library, and in this video, we'll have Microsoft Excel recognize a pattern and fill it in for us. Let's say we're creating a directory. All these entries live in the same city and have the same zip code, and we don't want to have to type that over and over again. We could copy and paste it, but there's a faster way, something called a fill, where we have Excel fill in the blanks. We'll click on the entry we want copied and place our mouse on the bottom right corner of the cell. Our cursor will change to a skinny plus sign. We'll click and hold and drag it down for as many cells as we want. Now the city name, Richmond, has been copied down into all these cells. We can do the same with the zip code. We'll grab the bottom right corner just like we did before and drag it down. In this column, we want our entries numbered sequentially Again, we can use a fill to type that in for us. However, if we just grab the corner like we did before, it'll only repeat the same number. If we want the program to follow a pattern, we first have to show it what that pattern is. We'll do this by typing the first two numbers of the pattern. Here we have number 101, so we'll type 102 beneath it. Then we'll highlight both cells, grab the corner, and pull it down. The program says, aha, you're counting by ones. I can do that. And it fills in the rest of the pattern. It could also count down. We'll do the same as before, but this time we'll type 100 beneath 101. Now it's counting down. If we put 201 in the second cell, highlight them both, and drag down, now it counts by hundreds. Whatever pattern we give it, that's the pattern it will follow. There are certain sequential words that don't require us to set a pattern. Here on another sheet, we want each month listed out. We'll type January at the top, grab the corner, and drag down. The program guesses that likely we want January to be followed by February, then March, and so on. This also works with the days of the week, and with either of these, we don't have to start with the first month or the first day. For example, we'll type Friday here at the top and fill it down. It goes on to Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and so on. Cell references will also fill in sequentially. The formula in our top row is adding B2 and C2 together. When we fill it down, the references in each formula follow a pattern so that they are still positioned the same amount of space away from the answer. As the answer moves down one row from D2 to D3, the references also move to row 3. All of these work horizontally as well. Here, we want a total for each column. Our formula is in the first column. We'll click on it, grab the corner, and drag to the right. This time, as our answer moves from column to column, the references also move from column to column. 